放轻松，好，不要眨眼啊！再来，啊，好，放轻松，放轻松，放轻松啊！不要眨眼，不要眨眼，哎，笑笑，看这边，哎，好，好，行了，谢谢你，林先生。来，我们看一下。嗯、um, ，Can we talk now？ 啊、uh, ，Give me a while. Have a seat, please. But we've been waiting for quite a while. Just a few minutes more. Sit down, sit down. Okay, ma. The old people, they not pantang about you taking their um, funeral photos. Sometimes, but mostly they can accept death as a fact of life. In fact, they are more afraid of dying alone. Uh, which is why we are here to make sure that their last rites are properly conducted. And is that how you knew Madam Tan Jok Lan? Madam Tan? Here, have a drink, please. Thanks. Madam Tan, I got to know her a few months ago. Actually, she was more worried about becoming a wandering soul uh, when the time comes, so to speak, if her funeral wasn't done right. Wouldn't her family be in charge of that? Oh, the, the family is, what should I say? It's strange. It's a very common story here. Families falling apart, not forgiving each other, even after the person is dead and long gone. It probably didn't help matters that Madam Tan left you the house. You're aware that the Tan family, specifically Clarence Tan, the eldest son, claims that you held her against her will. They also claimed that you kept her from seeing the family and then coerced her into changing her will. Coerced? Mr. Lim, we're here to help you, but we have to talk about the details. I did not coerce Madam Tan into giving me the house. I will never take advantage of anyone. In fact, Madam Tan came to me for help after they abandoned her. What do you think? You buy that he helps old and weak and expects nothing in return? Also, did he know about the house before or after Madam Tan? I'm not sure, but I believe in giving people the benefit of the doubt. Sorry to keep you waiting. No problem. The car's over there. This is what everyone has been fighting over. Well, I assume the land value alone is worth a fortune. That's why it's attracting so much of press interest. Plus, family disputes make for juicy gossip for the media. 
Surely Madam Tan wasn't living here. I don't think anyone has lived here in years. By the time I know Madam Tan, she was already living in a little rented flat in Yishun. Can you take us there? Yes, I can. But all the things have been cleared out. In fact, I think the new tenant has moved in already. You mean they threw away all her belongings? Yes. But I do have a tin of her things. May I take a look at that tin box? Yeah. Uh, but you will return to me after you're done, right? Well, she does not know many people. Uh, and the family didn't want it. In fact, uh, they didn't want to have anything to do with her. Except this house. Oh. So what exactly are we looking for? Anything that can prove the will was not made under undue influence. To prove that Madam Tan's family abandoned her, that Mr. Lim is right? That helps. It's basically his word against the Tans. Should be one of the grandchildren. Find anything? Some old recipes. Oh, wait. There's a number here. Ah, oh boy. Yeah. This is not Mr. Lim's number. Let me text this number. Dear, can you help me to get that? I think it's the reporters. Reporters? <laughs> I told you the other day. They said they wanted to interview you about your mother's house. Oh, good. Come. Welcome. I'm Clarence. That's my wife, Sally. Hi. Hi, I'm Jane. Uh, this is Arif, and we're here to talk about your mother's case. Great, great. Come on in. Come, come. Come. Get them some drinks, dear. Yeah. So, how are we going to do this? Do you just shoot me some questions? Well... Yes, if you don't mind. I'm happy to answer anything. I just want everyone to know the truth. Come on, have a seat. What was your relationship like with your late mother? Well, we used to be really close. I'm her eldest, but... But everything changed after she met that con man. By con man, you mean Mr. Ivan Lim? I did some digging myself. He's always hanging around these old and vulnerable folks. You know, to be with them in their final moments. That's what Last Rites does to help. He, he, he knew. He knew my mother owned the house and the land. And that's why he approached her first. Every time we tried to call her, he would answer the phone and tell us she was busy. This year, he stopped her from coming to our reunion dinner. Okay? I can screenshot all the call history and send it to I you. I can. I'm ah. not here to. Come, have a drink. Yeah. yeah. Please. What kind of swindler romances helpless old ladies in order to take advantage of them? So, when will this article be coming out? Mr. Tan, I think you've mistaken us for someone else. Another difficult case? Dad! You gave me a fright. Why are you sitting in the dark? Your mom and I were having a romantic drink after dinner. 
She only just went off to bed. Have you eaten? Uh, not yet. I'll get you something. So, you've been working so late, we haven't had a chance to catch up properly. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. I know pro bono work is tough. Thanks, Dad. Looks delicious. I, uh... I hope you know how proud I am that Rashid offered you a position at his firm. Why haven't you accepted the offer? I'm thinking of completing the fellowship first. Rashid could have a word with Prabha for that. You may not know this, but these are all just a means to an end. Don't let it jeopardize everything you have worked so hard for, Jane. Don't stay up too late. How do I address you? Zach. Ah, she just wrote. One second, yeah. Ah, boy. Do you mind giving me your address? Maybe we'll hit there now in about 20 minutes? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, thank you. Jane. Jane? Hmm? You alright? Yeah, yeah. I'm alright. What did I miss? I just got hold of Madam Tan's neighbor. Okay, let's go. We're really sorry for your loss. You must have been close to her. Zach, can you recall anyone other than family members visiting her? I don't recall anybody coming to see her. She was always alone, so my parents would ask me to check on her every few days. And sometimes, I would do small little errands for her. She asked me to hand deliver this package to her son. But he basically slammed the door on my face. Slammed the door? I was keeping this for Apol. But she never came back. I'm just glad someone was there for Apol during her last moments. You know? to give her a proper send-off. All registered mail sent to Clarence Tan dated over a period of five years. All returned unopened to sender. Can we open them? I'm not sure we should. Why? These letters might tell us something. It's addressed to Clarence Tan. Maybe we should just send him these letters instead. But he didn't want them. Hi. 
Hi, Mr. Lim. I'm sorry, Mr. Call. I'm here with Arif. Hi, Mr. Lim. Uh, hi. I was calling to check how my case is going. We haven't had any breakthroughs yet. Oh. I know there isn't much to go on, but I just want to say I never regretted knowing Madam Tan. So, whatever the outcome is, whatever happens to me, I just hope that last rites can continue to work without me. Thank you for everything you've done. No, Mr. Lim. It's our duty to represent and help you. Thank you. Goodbye. Dearest son, Clarence, this is the first Chinese New Year since your father died. It is very hard for a mother to beg to see her son and family, but that is what I'm doing now. Whatever it was I said or did wrong, I didn't mean it. Please, forgive me. Her last letter was dated a few months ago. She had wanted to see Clarence up to the day she died. It sounds like they've been estranged for over five years, long before there was a Mr. Lim. What are you smiling at? At you at a hard-ass lawyer who's sticking a neck out to help people. Congratulations! How do you feel about the win today? Not a win. Just clearing my name. Any plans for the house? We'll issue a statement later, but for right now, we're very happy with the outcome. Look, it's that con man accompanied by that sleazy con woman. More like the legal company from hell. Jane, it's over. We won the case. Let's go. Nasi lemak for lunch. Thank you, Mr. Lim. I know this is nothing much, but I really want to show my appreciation for all your help. It's our pleasure. So, what do you plan to do with the house? Um, I uh, haven't been entirely honest with you. I need to show you something. Mm -hmm. Madam Tan had wanted to give him the house, but she didn't know where he was. Andrew Tan Wei Min, he is the rightful owner. 